happy Saturday. I wanted to come on Facebook really quick to share with you the tip about how I keep track of parent information and parent contact, um, whether it be notes that they send in or if I'm contacting them via email or calling them on the phone or if we have a meetup at the school. I just wanted to share with you the free way for you guys um, that you can download how I keep track of all of my parent communications. So in my TPT store, there is a freebie. It's called a parent contact binder. I call it my PCB. And every year I update it for the upcoming school year. And you just get this cover and you get this fine. I keep it in this color because it kind of matches the guy's little shirt. And then inside, so as you guys know, my classroom is color coded. So inside of here, I typically use, um, I will take construction paper and laminate it so it stays um, for a really long time. For the sake of this, I just took file folders and kind of cut them in half and they fit in here perfect too. They're a little bit longer than the paper. So I can easily flip through if I needed to write a student's name on here or something. You could do that as well. So how um, I keep track of parent contact is this form here, and I apologize for it being backwards, but I will keep track of anything, like if I have to call a parent or if a parent schedules a meeting that is outside of like an IEP meeting, right? IEP meetings are legally legal documents that they keep in the computer and the school has um, has keeps track of all of that for us. But if we have like a parent conference or there's a phone call, all emails I keep in folders. We use Outlook, so I just keep folders for each of my kids every year. And if it's something that's super important, I will move it over to the child's folder, like a parent email. Or if they have outside therapies that I'm allowed to contact, um, I'll use that and I'll, or I'll put that over into their folder on the computer. Um, you want to be careful if you're emailing, though, with you know confidentiality. Try not to use the child's name if you're emailing in between like teachers and things like that again you're going to want to probably just talk to that person in in person and not via email if they're in the school or something like that um, but for parent wise for emails i keep them within outlook i don't print them out um, and for any notes that they send in yesterday i did this live about the student iep binders that i keep any parent notes that they send in i keep it back in here in the back of the student's iep student binder Everything else I keep track of in here. So how it works is, since my kids are color coded, I will have their own little flap inside of a one inch binder, that's all this is, and I print this page front and back. I'll print it at the beginning of the year, give each kid like six pages of this, so they'll get three, six, six, 36 slots for parent contact. And you just write the date, you write the time, if it was an AM or PM, the method of contact. So was it via phone? Was it in person? Was it maybe at the bus when they're getting on or a parent pickup? When did you contact them or when were you in contact with them? Any comments or concerns that the, the conversation was about and also any next steps that you need to take as the educator, as the teacher to either answer a parent's questions or maybe you need to follow up with somebody, the inclusion teacher or administration. Um, it kind of gives you that space here so you remember what do I need to follow up with and then you can check it off when you're done. That way, if you have to go to a meeting really fast, you can quickly just grab this off your thing, grab the student's binder as well, and take it with you and just flip through and be like, okay, well, here's all of the parent contact that I have from um, meetings that we had together or phone calls that we've had. I know that throughout the school day, like we aren't allowed to have parent phone calls like during the academic time. If it's like our lunch or our planning time, they'll send, they'll call us first, like the office will call us first if a parent calls and is like, hey, um, so-and-so's parent is calling and they can either I can either have them choose to leave a message with the office and I will call them back like if I'm busy or um, they can send the phone call right through to my room and I'll have the conversation then I keep this binder right behind my desk or right at my desk that way I can just pull it right off the desk and as I'm having the conversation with the parent I can be writing down okay today is July um, today is July 15th the time is I don't even know what time it is noon and the method is a phone conversation. The parent is really concerned that their child hasn't been eating all of their lunch. 
um, and they haven't really been eating snacks, so what steps do I need to do? Um, maybe sit with the child or make sure somebody's watching the child at lunch and kind of take more notes and let the parents know more of like what's going on at lunch. Are they eating inclusion lunch and maybe they are distracted by everything that's going on? Maybe they don't have enough time to eat and they need to come back to the self-contained classroom and finish eating their lunch. Uh, maybe it's too early in the morning. So things like that, things that you need to kind of figure out what's going on. Again, this is a freebie in my store. If you go to my store, Mrs. D's Corner on TPT, I'll also link it after this video, but it's a freebie. You're just gonna go download the cover and the spines. It comes in a one inch and a two inch, and then you're also going to get the contact form that I use. Again, I will update it every year for you with the new year. And I just print it front back, put it in a binder. I color code um, the tabs here, however you wanna do it to put it in a binder works for you. Um, but I wanted to share this information with you because it's something free, something really, really easy that you guys can do and kind of mainstream and streamline how you're documenting parent communication. So if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions or wanna tell me how you do it, I'm always looking for new ways to kind of implement things with what I'm already doing to see if it makes it better. So please let me know, leave a comment. I will go back and read all of your comments and answer any questions that you have. And I will link to the freebie also as well in the comments and in the description of this video. So have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.